Well, this weekend is the perfect time to scare up some early Halloween fun at the historic home of Nathan Hale in Coventry. Each year, the Young Friends of Hale Youth Group designs and creates a haunted corn maze that's full of spooky surprises. And here to tell us about it, Ted Jarrett, site manager of Nathan Hale, Caitlin how do you say your last name? I'm sorry. Dominic. Dominic. Thank you, Dominic <laughs> and Jackie Grizzle. Thank you so much for Welcome. being here, guys. Yay. Oh, my goodness. Look at this makeup. Ted, thank you. <laughs> All right. So this, I mean, you guys kind of spooked me just walking into the studio <laughs> a little bit. Um, I mean, this sounds like a lot of fun. Has it been going on for many years, Ted? Um, yes, this is our uh, sixth year of doing this. Um, it's uh, done by the Young Friends of Hale each year. Uh, there's a one acre part of our property that uh, David Bascala, a local farmer, plants with uh, corn for us. Uh, we design a maze and a whole new one every year with all new props and sets. Uh, we uh, start early in the season, pick the corn out so there's a, a walkway through the whole pro through the whole maze. Uh, we just this year there's nine different sets on there, so we design them, build them. Uh, there's actors in each one of them, uh, so it's a very uh, unique experience. So obviously some scary clowns yep. are part of the unique <laughs> yeah. experience. It, does it have a historic flair though too because it at, is at the Nathan Hale home set? Um, it does. I mean just the whole property lends itself sure. to the historic flair. Um, it's dark. I mean this year we have the, the big full <laughs> blood moon out there so it gives a little more light than normal. But, oh um, my goodness. Uh, we do, uh, there's a, um, all kinds of different, you know, different scenes and we, as I said, we switch them around every year so. And I take it you're in charge of being spooky. Yes. yes. Is that a tough job? Um, it's more fun than anything. I would think it would be. Yeah, it's so much fun. Um, the first nights are usually the hardest because you're just trying to get the feel of things and see what works and what doesn't work and make things new the next time. Do you ever make things a little too scary? Um, we try. <laughs> we try. We try not to yes. because um, we don't want it to be too bloody and gory, so we have right. to keep it to a minimum. And there's some younger kids. We have 11 to 18 yeah. that usually go, and then older kids. So we try to keep it with the age ranges, make sure. sure it's not too scary. So as young as 11, it's appropriate yeah, for? Yeah, we really say like 10, 10 and above mm -hmm. is, is good, yeah. So yeah. what can people expect when they get out there? Oh, well, oh. there's a lot of different things. Um, the scene that we're at is the toy scene, which is kind of freaky as it is, because you never know what's in the toy scene. Yeah, this is not so cute. <laughs> right here. It's a cute thing. It talks. It does? Yeah. Oh, it no. It does. It does talk. Wow. Um, so you're in part of the toy scene, mm -hmm. yeah, and then yeah. do you just kind of play with different kinds of toys and scary dolls well, like this um, one? <laughs> I jump out of a box. She oh, does. fun! <laughs> You're like a jack in the box. Mm -hmm. And how long does all this take? I mean, this is pretty detailed makeup right well, here. Well, this morning I had to make a new mask. So this took me an hour just this morning. Yeah. Wow. But typically it takes like 30 minutes. So. Yeah, so this part's a mask, this isn't makeup? Mm -hmm. oh, well, it's wow. it's liquid latex and a cotton ball. Oh, wow. Makeup yeah. is getting so sophisticated. I know. We have a whole group of people that comes and makes all the different uh, actors up, they're, they're there probably like from four o'clock to seven when we open up. Mm -hmm. A couple of them just going full time with everybody's faces and getting them uh, done after they're in costume, so. Oh my <laughs> goodness, it sounds like so much fun. So how can people come out and enjoy this? Um, it uh, was this Friday and Saturday mm -hmm. uh, from seven to nine. Uh, the cost is $8 uh, per person or $25 for family. And then we have it again next weekend on Friday and Saturday nights as well. Yeah, we have a big bonfire at the end, so you can come and hang out at the bonfire, mm -hmm. have some s'mores and homemade goodies and stuff out there as well. And how much is it? Um, the s'mores are like a dollar or two. Oh, yeah, no, but was, to get oh, in? Eight dollars, eight dollars. <laughs> eight dollars, Eight dollars to get in, and then Perfect. 25 for a family, so. All right, and s'mores are about five bucks or whatever. Two. <laughs> two bucks, I'm sorry. <laughs> two bucks, five bucks for if you're hungry like me. I mean, you can't just have one s'more, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's most of the best. All right. Well, thank you so much. Great You're job welcome. today. Thank you. Thank Thanks. you so much for being Appreciate here. It up. And of course, for more information, you can always head to wtnh.com. Just click on the on-air tab and pull it down to the Good Morning Connecticut weekend section.